Hi guys, today we have a Mink Air Artemis ceiling fan. This particular fan I believe is from 2012, November of 2012 if I remember right. And this is obviously one of the fans I got from the showroom. This one uses an AC motor, the earlier ones did. And another thing is that it didn't come with air control, uh, so I'm using the control that they use, which is this Kitchler Cool Touch with the receiver, and it does work just fine. I don't get dimming or reverse, but I could care less about that, really. Now, actually, it does have a reverse module. Maybe I'll try to reverse it off camera, and we'll see what happens. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close-up of the fan first. It is in the Distress Co. finish. And I do believe that these are, I think, 58 inches, maybe. I really do not remember. But as per usual, size of the fan is in the description, and I always do double-check my information there. And there's the glass as well. This one also does use a halogen light. And uh, I will say, I do not like halogens. And here is why. Yeah, they are super bright, but my big complaint is the heat from the bulb definitely messed up the connectors a little bit. So me and my dad had to, um, I don't even know what he did, but he did something to make it work temporarily. But yeah, it was super annoying. Anyways, I'll go ahead and turn the light on. This is all that you get since I can't get it to dim. There is a real dark spot on the globe and that's, well, you could see it in person. That's just because of how halogens work. That's one big complaint I, I have with halogens. Any bulb really is like that. I'll go ahead and shut it off. Now I'll go ahead and put the fan to low. I said low. Yeah, I think the batteries are dying in this remote, so you will have to excuse me. But there we go. Now it's started up. And you're probably wondering why I didn't change the batteries. Well, it's because I'm lazy. And this is going right back in the bag, and the batteries are coming out of it. So quite frankly, I could care less. It works eventually. It just takes a second. But yeah, I always did like the Artemis fans. They're really cool looking. And they do look really cool from the side as well. From underneath, they're kind of cool. But from the side is where they look super, super cool. So that's, I'm glad that I got a pretty decent angle on this fan. And I got very lucky that the AC turned off as soon as I started this video. I'm going to go up to it, see if I can hear anything. Because I don't know how loud these motors are. Guys, I'm not even kidding you. This fan is whisper quiet on low. I can hear it. This is bedroom silent right here. That's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and now turn it up. This is the medium speed. And the original fan, or the original control, would have been one of the three-speed air controls, by the way. There is a little bit of wobble, probably due to the down rod being a little bit longer. I can feel a pretty good amount of air from it. On low, it doesn't put out too much, but on medium and high, it does. I, If I were to um, have this fan permanently installed somewhere, I would definitely be running it on the medium speed. In the winter, I probably would do low, but for the summer, definitely medium. Anyways, I think I can go ahead now and take the fan up to high. Ah, here's the remote being stupid. Sometimes I just have to uh, throw on a different button, and then the other one will respond. God dang it. This remote is so annoying. Yeah, I gotta have to replace the batteries. This is outrageous. Okay, I turned it back to low. Trying to get this to work. This happened in my last take as well. I'm just not going to be able to get to function properly. So. Okay, I've shut it off. I am so sorry about this. It, it indicated that it worked. There we go. Now it went. Finally. There's a bit more of a motor hum on high speed, but... It doesn't really matter as much on high speed unless it's ridiculously loud because you're hearing the wind noise. It sounds really cool, actually. Yeah, the wind noise on this fan sounds very interesting. Bit of a wobble, not that bad, though. Yeah, I can feel it. It's really strong. It's blowing everything around here. This is the only thing moving air in the basement right now, and everything is blowing around. Box flaps, bubble wrap, plastic bags, tape, wires, everything is blowing right now.
even pull chains on some of the fans on the floor. Anyways, let's go and give you guys a close up. First, I'm just gonna set it down under here to see if you can hear that wind noise any better. Okay, now we'll go do the regular where I go across. I really do appreciate the AC shutting up as soon as I started filming. That definitely made it a lot better. I usually do try not to do it when the AC's on, but I can't always control it. Okay, uh, let's see if the remote will respond. Hey, it did. Spin down time on this, I don't think is very long, or I honestly don't remember. Because I haven't really been down here that much. I can't watch TV again because, once again, my table has been filled in. And that's very annoying, but I'll make it work. It is what I get. I wanted all these fans, so now I've got them. And a mess to go with them. <laughs> but yeah, I really do like the Artemis. It is such a cool fan. I've heard some complaints about the metal finish not matching the, the blades that well. Because I think the blades are plastic. The down rod is the one thing that doesn't match very well. Everything else on it, I think, looks fine. But yeah, I'm not too happy with that down rod color. It's, it kind of annoys me every time I look at the fan. And this is a Minka down rod. It's not some other random one. I remember there was a time where the show meant to steal some Kitchler Wispy Brulee down rods for, I think they had it on the Lightweight or something that they had on display. I can't even remember now. They had so many fans up there. They had like 72. But, yeah. And now the fan has come to stop. And because I don't have anything else to say about it, I'm going to tell you thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.